Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for January 2023. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, I am going to be sharing a message for the month, and as well as just a few of the little astrological things that are happening and what to expect in January 2023 as far as the energies go, and I'll be doing an animal spirit reading with uh, the deck from Susie Green, the animal, animal messages deck this month. But before we dive into that, I have a couple of announcements about events for this week, the last week in December 2022. Um, if you're catching this video right away, tomorrow I will be giving a free workshop over Zoom and that I'm calling the Akashic Vision 2023, a sole purpose alignment workshop. And it's really, we'll just meet, I'm gonna do some, first of all, a clearing to help to clear any negative energies clinging from 2022. Uh, we'll be doing a little um, journey work to help you connect with a spirit guide to assist you in your visioning process. And then we'll be doing some Akashic visioning work, um, clarifying our vision for, First of all, our the earth itself, like the long-term vision, and then clarifying short-term, like the, the vision for the year. And I, it's I'm intending this to be a really beautiful, clarifying, almost a ceremony to, to help us to get really, really clear and ready to go for 2023. And you can use it either for your personal life, for your business, or both. Again, that's free. I'm going to be putting the link in the description box below. And it will be tomorrow, Tuesday, December 27th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And then two days later on uh, Thursday, the 29th, I'll be giving my annual spirit animal reading for 2023. And that will be a live stream here on YouTube on Thursday the 29th at 1 p.m. Eastern. So join me for one or both of those. Love to see you there. And let's go into the reading then for January 2023. Okay, so often when I do readings, almost all the time, I will pick a crystal and it's really more the crystal picks the reading. Um, so when I kind of felt into all my crystals, this was the one that jumped out and said, hey, I want to be the crystal for January. And this is a carnelian agate a beautiful warm orange colored stone and it's feeling like it's really here uh, supporting those first couple chakras and it feels like to me like January is going to be kind of a release right <laughs> kind of um, it feels like there if you have felt like there's been sort of pent-up energy or kind of like I've kind of felt like walking through quicksand a little bit over the last couple months and it feels like January it's going to start opening up again you know, if you felt any kind of energy that didn't want to move forward, it feels like it's going to start moving forward in January. Um, I'm going to, and, and I didn't even realize this until an astrologer friend of mine mentioned it, that Mars will be going direct mid-month. And I feel like that's probably why I'm feeling this. So just going through some of the astrological events um, that we can look forward to in January, 2023, Mars will be going direct on January 12th. It's been in retrograde since October 30th. And Mars, of course, has a lot to do with our kind of a masculine drive and, and you know, powering forward. Um, so it, it feels, again, that's probably why I'm feeling mid-month it's gonna, it's gonna start accelerating you know anything that you've got going for you whether in your business or something that you want to get done um mercury is going to actually go into retrograde on the 29th of december and but it'll go back direct on the 18th which is just a few days after mars goes direct and then we have another planet going direct that has been in retrograde for quite some time um uranus is going to go direct on the 22nd. It's been in retrograde since August 24th. And that is the planet of kind of change and surprises. So 
Uranus spends a lot of the time every year in retrograde, so it's nothing unusual. Um, but typically, the retrograde period will be a little bit quieter. And then when it goes direct, we may see more just kind of uh, changes, surprises, anything happening out in the world in general or in your life. Um, you can expect probably some more activity with the, with the Uranus going direct. So going uh, uh, together with those other two planets going direct, again, we're feeling a little bit more accelerated energy in, um, in January. Also, the sun will be entering Aquarius on January 20th. And so, of course, we're entering the Aquarian age. So there may be a lot of kind of more initiation kind of stuff, changes, surprises, or just getting more traction towards anything related to Aquarius, especially in January. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and pull some cards for January 2023. And again, I'm using Susie Green's Animal Messages deck. And I'm going to start with just I'm going to pull one card for each week of January, starting with the first week of January. And in that first week, we have a full moon on January 6th. So I'm going to consider this first card to be the fire card. We'll do a four elements reading along with it. Um, so first card wants to come up is Rhino. And her little keywords are still the chatter within to see your true path in life. Um, so you might want to think about taking that first week of January, just to kind of assess, be mindful, maybe do some good deep meditation and get some clarity. And again, if you attend my Akashic Visioning Workshop tomorrow, that will also help with clarity. That would be a time that first week of January to really tune into whatever vision you come up for, for um, you know, for this year ahead. Also with Rhino, I'm seeing it's got that little bird on there. I don't remember what they're called, but uh, they are a, a, it's a bird that picks the little insects and parasites off of the Rhino. And so I'm getting sort of cooperative partnerships that could be important. Um, maybe there could be a week where you form some kind of partnership or alliance, or if you have existing partnerships or alliances, good week to maybe touch base with some of those people or do some planning with them, um, you know, for the year ahead. Okay, so week number two is we're going to see um, the last quarter moon on Sunday the 15th. And I'm going to consider this the water card. Okay, so with the last quarter moon, things are waning, things are um, kind of whatever release has been happened over the full moon, it's going to be in swing. And the card coming up here is kangaroo, which is an interesting one. And thinking about kind of releasing kangaroo, of course, this animal with the great big powerful hind legs that can leap forward. Um, so this may be actually a fairly powerful full moon um, that will assist in, <laughs> you know, kind of giving a giving some strength to this energy that's about to open up later in the month. Um, as events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. Okay, so this is saying, well, some of that leap forward may be coming even earlier in the month than I had anticipated. Um, this is <laughs> this is a very Capricorn looking um, kangaroo to me. She is really looking no nonsense. <laughs> And she's like, okay, so I'm sort of getting from her. She says, just really assess. You know, you might want to do a SWOT analysis if you're not in business and don't know what that means. It means strengths, weaknesses, um, what is it, opportunities and threats. So just taking a look at what's going on in your life. You know, what do you have really going for you? Um, what are some opportunities that you have that you may not be really aware of? So really looking at, okay, what what's actually coming up that can be really positive in my life? As well as things look at, you know, look around you and it's like, 
what are some things that may be holding you back this month? And just being aware. Um, awareness is super important anytime, especially when we're looking at energies opening up and, you know, um, being able to move forward with things. We want to make sure that we're really clear on where we stand and where we might want to bring in some protection and maybe do some clearing around uh, as well as things that are really beckoning to us and offering to us you know the things that are here for us for, to to receive or to pursue um also she's got this little baby in her in her pouch that who's he's looking <laughs> he's looking actually just as a matter of fact and uh, no nonsense as she is so um I think a time to be really serious about any new project that's been calling to you, right? Um, let's look at week number three. Check my calendar here for January. Um, week number three. And ending that week, we're going to have a new moon on Saturday the 21st. I forgot to look up, up what... what uh, signs these moons are in, but uh, I'm going to just pull a card for that week. Um, I'm going to consider this the air card for the month. And this is cheetah. A decision must once made will be followed by unwavering action. I think that is a wonderful card to be coming up, given what I've already shared around the energies. This will be the time when uh, right around when all these energies are going to be starting to open up the end of that third week that you know that 21st period it'll be right around the um moving into aquarius and he's talking about a decision okay so this this will be the week by which you want to really start having made your choices around okay what actions am i going to take and why right what's my big why to make that decision you know what are your big goals for the coming time period for the year of 2023 make those goals by this time and you know make those decisions so that you can move forward with unwavering action unwavering determination and because that's what's going to you know if you got that clarity and you've got that you know oh yes we're going to do this get that kind of feeling and i'm feeling like oh cheetah this card's really coming forward to support us in that I am so excited for this month and for this year of 2023 because it feels like this is really a year to just kind of grab grab the bull by the horns and move forward in um in, in feeling a lot of life around this year for star seeds especially a lot of life and and that's one thing this crystal has going for it that to support us here too is there's so much life force in this beautiful orange carnelian agate okay so it's really supporting the physical body supporting the life force supporting the the fire of passion within the heart um and in just a moment i'm going to share uh a uh, little when I kind of tuned into the Akash, they gave me this really almost poetic little message that I'm going to share with you in a sec. But first, let's do the card number four, and this will be for the last week in January, and also coinciding with the first quarter moon, which will be at the end of January on Saturday the 28th. Okay, and the the animal is seal. It says hard work and inspiration are the foundation of true creativity. And um, I think that's a, a beautiful, beautiful card to round out the month. Um, again, this is the earth card that I'm feeling for this one. And so earth to me, um, it's a first quarter moon, right? So it's actually rising energy. And if you can think of the earth in spring where it's really pushing forward new life, that's what I'm getting out of this particular 
time of January. And also this card really supports that hard work and inspiration are the foundation of true creativity. We have a lot to bring forward to the planet. We star seeds in 2023. We've got so much inspiration, right? And so much creativity to bring to the table. We're here to create this beautiful new way of being, this, this new golden age, right? That's what we're here for. And it feels like this, oh my gosh, I'm feeling such a big push for that here in January 2023. Okay, so between these four cards, we have, uh, and I love the progression of this, when we start with the rhino with really kind of getting still and quiet and really focused, um, we have the kangaroo, which uh, she's uh, just kind of saying, hey, you know, just assess what's going on and so that you can move forward without being, you know, distracted or, or you know, obstructed right and then there is cheetah who's saying really um you know make your strong decision and then just go for it um, and then the seal which is again more just like go for it this may be some things that some of us have going on that are big projects right um that you know if you're resonating with starting up some really big projects or or getting them really on track this is the card for you hard work and inspiration um you know this may be a marathon and not a sprint for a lot of us okay so um i'm loving these cards for january and here is the message that i was given to relate to everyone for january 2023 and i think this sets the stage for the entire year of january live from the heart love from the heart and laugh from the heart <laughs> okay this is my akashic message sharing with you live from the heart love from the heart laugh from the heart i think it's super important to remember that last one right because things can get so so serious but laughter is an incredibly powerful protective energy it clears the air it's just as amazing as something like this beautiful sage um laughter clears and laughter paves the way for lots of action right it it's it's strengthening it's powerful and so don't be afraid to laugh in this month all right so thank you so much for watching hope to see you at the akashic visioning workshop again the link to that is below and also um thursday it's going to be the, the full year reading I'm going to do starting for February because I want to work with the astrological, um, you know, times of year. So if you liked this particular message for January, you're going to want to tune in on Thursday and see that whole year. And we're going to take you through. It's going to be live. It'll be fun. Join me then. And remember, you were born to be free.